So my name is Vandan Panchal. Um, my specialty is internal medicine and specifically in like outpatient primary care. I'm originally from India. I grew up in a city of approximately 7 million people called Ahmedabad. Uh, I, pretty much all of my family, I'm like the first doctor in my family, you could say that. Um, I did my medical school at BJ Medical College in Ahmedabad, which is like the top school there. And it's considered one of the Asia's biggest hospital with almost 6,000 beds. So it was a pretty overwhelming experience there, kind of um, like learning so much and like the breadth of patients you could see uh, in that hospital. As the, you know, the cliche answer is to help people. But for me, it was more about kind of uh, being curious and asking the questions, kind of, I was very interested and curious about uh, the entire, the anatomy and the physiology of medicine as well. And then as I kind of progressed through the years of training and working with patients, and I kind of got really interested in like the patient stories and like kind of understanding uh, their perspectives and their life stories, and then trying to not just combine the knowledge of medicine, but also kind of adding that human element to it. And that is one of the other reasons why I like chose internal medicine and specifically outpatient, because to have that longitudinal relationship with them was very important for me. And it was very gratifying over a period of time as well, well during training. As part of training, we had to see patients in the residency clinic over a period of time. Um, and to see them overall um, getting better every visit and seeing those, those improvements and gains in their making and seeing um, their own self-confidence and like being, uh, f like feeling good, that was probably the most gratifying like, in, like experiences for me to kind of uh, say that, yes, I think I belong here. I think I want to do uh, what I, I love what I do right now. And it just made me feel like, okay, I want to do it more and more and like help people. But deep down, it's basically to figure out things and also help people and trying to understand them as human beings and trying to understand their deep emotions and their deep insecurities and fears. And those were the things that really helped me kind of understand. It's like, okay, you're not just like a patient to me. You're not just a number. It's like an actual human being. And so you wanted to have that kind of relationship. And I could see that over a period of time, they would be more opened up and they would, I would like try to help them in, in not just being medicine, but also like a lot of times with patients right now, there's a loneliness epidemic. So just, they just want to get heard. And that was the other part of me that helped me kind of develop this deep empathic relationship with them. As while part of the training in residency, uh, I was also really interested in how to use technology that we have, not just in forms of EMRs, but all these other accessories, including the watch, the, I have this ring, it's called an aura sleep ring. So it pretty much helps me track my sleep. And uh, as for me, like I found out while I was tracking my sleep that I was actually having some mild sleep apnea and I could like actually use a CPAP machine based on that and really dramatically improve the quality of life and like overall work quality as well. But um, I think with the advent of technology, we have all, everybody has a smartphone in their pockets now. There's so much you can do in order to kind of improve yourself 1% and make your life a little bit better. And I, my goal is to kind of not just educate, but also help my patients to use some of these easy tools that we have to change behaviors and kind of dramatically improving their quality of life. And uh, it's gratifying to see, I had a patient who was a very physically active patient uh, in his late 70s, he would work out every day, and I recommended him to get an Apple Watch and just to kind of keep track of all of his workouts. And lo and behold, uh, they f he found that one day he sent me an EKG stating that, oh, I have AFib, it says AFib. So I kind of recommended him to go to the ER and turns out he was in AFib and he ended up getting a catheter ablation procedure for that. 
So I think in a way technology kind of saved his life, I could say that. And I mean, it is one of the best things you can do with like health and combining technology. And I really uh, kind of want to pursue more and, and truly educating and also in informing the patients to how to use those technologies for their own uh, well-being.